Hi everyone and welcome day 50. This is Emom. Today's workout is an Emom, which it means every minute on the minute. And Caroline has her hair in braids, which means it's about to get real. <laughs> That's it. Day 50 was a killer, but I'm done. Now it's time to share my results. I did it. I finished Epic Heat. Do you know how accomplishing it feels to like finish a whole 10 week program? 10 weeks, that's a long time. So I finished Epic Heat, which is a YouTube fitness program run by Caroline Gervin. If you don't know who she is, she's a certified personal trainer who's done like marathons, ultra marathons. She's accomplished so many things in her fitness journey. She has a channel here on YouTube. Her workouts are free and you're able to do them from home. She has Epic One, Epic Two, and now we just finished Epic Heat. It was my favorite so far. She doesn't have gimmicky workouts. They are science-based. She's not telling you you're gonna lose arm fat if you do this workout. Epic Heat is a 10-week program with 30-minute workouts. Before Epic Heat, I did Epic Two, and the workouts were anywhere from 45 minutes to 60 minutes, so coming into these 30 minutes was The training split is five days of workouts, one active rest day, and one rest day. The beginning of the week is usually like three area focused strength days like hamstrings, glutes, back, shoulders, arms, chest, or combination of a bunch of those body parts, but they are like area focused strength days. And then usually on Fridays, cause that's how it fell in the way I was doing the program, was a full body day, usually with weights. And Sundays were cardio days. She plays music and doesn't talk during her workout videos, which I've come to like. Nobody's yelling at you during your workout. You can kind of like do your thing. She plays her music. She has tips that pop up throughout the workout. And also you can see the move that's coming next. She also has a timer. So you can listen to your own music, but then you probably aren't gonna hear the beeps. But if you just pay attention to the screen, you'll know when to move on to the next exercise. She also has down in the bottom a bar that lets you know how much of the workout you've accomplished, which honestly, I hate that. <laughs> because I'm like dying and I'm like, I've been here forever. And I look and it's like, you're only 10% done with the workout. And I'm like, but she always color coordinates. She has flowers, the timer matches, everything's matching her outfit, her shoes. She has like a specific vibe that I just love about her workout videos. Her programs never get boring because she switches up the workouts. She has hit. Tabata, she has no repeat workouts where every single exercise you do is something different. She has complexes, circuits. So her workouts vary and it always keeps you wanting more because it's not so repetitive. We're not doing the same five workouts for 10 weeks straight. I thought that 30 minutes was gonna be easy coming from 45 minutes to 60 minute workouts. I should have known because Caroline likes to make people work. So these workouts were pretty intense. Caroline Gervin, is not easy. She would not do that to you. <laughs> I love her approach to nutrition. She doesn't give you like a nutrition guide to follow, but she talks a little bit about nutrition in the guide. 
Does that make sense? She talks about your protein intake and repairing and building your muscles. She suggests foods to eat and what to avoid. She gives you food swapping ideas like eat this instead of this. She recommends drinking a ton of water, staying hydrated, and she says, think nutrition, not diet eat nutritious foods. So I would wake up early in the morning for my workouts, 5.30 to be exact, because I wanna get up in the morning and work on myself before the kids get up. I would work out fasted, so I would just grab some water, head straight to the garage and get right into it. 30 minute workouts were much easier to handle than the 45 to 60 minute workouts. I felt I could fit them into my schedule nicely and then maybe add on an extra bonus if the kids weren't awake or I had time like abs or like a little bit of cardio or something of that nature. I definitely got stronger as time went on because my weights increased as the weeks went on. This is the most consistent I've ever stayed with a workout plan. I generally have a love for fitness, but following a program, especially one that's 10 weeks long, that can be challenging. I cleaned up my diet more than I did in Epic 2, but I definitely eat what I want in moderation. I found myself sore even at the end of the program. It wasn't just something that happened in the beginning. I love her programs because fitness is very like individual. Just because she's using X amount of weight doesn't mean you have to use X amount of weight. So her programs are customizable because you can use less weight or heavier weight or take more breaks if you need to. It doesn't have to be exactly what's on the screen. You don't have to be following her move for move for move. There were days I was not ready for, like there was burpee day. It was just straight up 800 different varieties of burpees until you died. Or push-up day, because I have bad wrists and I suck at push-ups. So I'm suffering through push-up day when we're just doing push-up after push-up after push-up after push-up for 30 whole minutes. I'm not a stranger to fitness. I've gained and lost roughly 40 pounds five different times in my life. I'm a 28 year old mom of five boys. Being a mom is a 24 hour job. I spread myself super thin to meet everybody's needs, super thin. The benefits of this program have gone way beyond physical and weight loss. This is my me time, work on myself time, something that's just for me and me only. Fitness is my outlet, really. Working out first thing in the morning improves my mood. It helps me for the rest of the day. I wake up, work out, I'm energized, I'm happy because I got that chance to focus on me first before pouring into everybody else. It also helps me make better eating choices if I work out in the morning because then I'm like, I don't wanna ruin my workout. So I tried to make better eating choices throughout the day. There were definitely days where I was not motivated, but it just became part of my routine. This program really helps me on my journey of self-love. I don't know, maybe that sounds dumb. But after having kids, I feel like there's this pressure that you have to get your body back. That's just not like realistic. Of course so that happens for some people, but that doesn't happen for everybody and that's okay. It can be hard for me because people like to say things like, oh, you've had five kids and, and you look like that, but they don't see the work I've put in to get this far. You know what I mean? I'm seeing results from this program and I am loving them. I was probably at my fittest in like 2017. Then I had a baby in 2018 and then I had another baby in 2020. This program has given me my confidence back. I'm getting results, I'm seeing the changes and I'm loving it. I still think overall, my mental health benefited the most. I'm super thankful for Caroline and her programs because they push you to your limits, they help you stay dedicated, they make you do things you never thought you could do, and you're progressing over time. And I'm just talking, the boost is like, whoo! <laughs> so I am super thankful for her and her programs and my friend for introducing me to her programs. Okay, okay, enough chit chat. Here are my results. I mean, they're pretty drastic, but my weight stayed almost exactly the same. Like there were points when I was up, my weight was higher than when I started, and then it came back down. So my weight is like pretty much exactly the same as how I started, which is mind blowing to me because when you look at these pictures, there's clearly a difference. So I'm like, okay, maybe I need to like throw my scale away. I feel stronger, I feel better all around, I'm making healthier eating choices. 
most of the time. And I loved Epic Heat, probably one of my favorite workout programs I've ever done. Well, that's all I have for the Epic Heat review. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as it really helps my channel. Don't forget to subscribe too if you aren't already subscribed to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.